Howdy guys, Army of Otters here today. I'm going to be showing you how to complete the quest for Ao Long Sin. I do not know if that's how you pronounce it, but anyways, this is the quest with Arcade Ganon, who's found with the followers of the Apocalypse and Freeside. Upon completion of this quest, Arcade Ganon will no longer be able to be your companion, so just a warning. For this quest to begin, you need to be at least a certain point in the story, rather the house always wins part 5, wild card change in management, or for the Republic part 2. If you're helping Caesar's Legion, you're going to want to probably do the wild card one. Also need for this quest to begin, you also need a certain amount of trust points with Arcade Ganon. I'll be showing you how to get these trust points here in a second. And finally, the requirements for this quest is the completion of the quest. Guess who I saw today? I do have a guide on my channel. I'll put the link in the description below. And I also highly recommend having 80 speech and being at least a level 20 because you're going to be doing a lot of traveling. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with getting trust points with Arcade Ganon. So unfortunately a lot of these points I'd already gotten by myself like a long time ago, obviously when I wasn't recording, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do and how to get them. So for one of the first uh, easiest places to go is just go to Silver Rush, just go inside with Arcade Ganon following you, again he can be found with the followers of Apocalypse in Freeside, just talk to him and he, he's pretty easy to recruit. Anyways, you're going to want to go to the Silver Rush in Freeside, which is next to the Atomic Wrangler, and you'll come in and Arcade Ganon will talk to you and that's that and then you gain a trust point also ganon does have to talk to you uh don't leave without him talking to you but for me i entered and he talked to me immediately anyways our next trust point will be earned at the repcon uh headquarters just south of uh las vegas kind of um kind of just south it's by the uh i-88 like uh stop or whatever anyways you're going to go ahead and travel there and i don't, I wasn't paying attention when I was walking and I walked right past the entrance. But anyways, you're going to want to go ahead and walk inside. There's no enemies in there. And again, RK Ganon will just talk to you. And once he's talked to you, you can leave. Our next trust point will be found at a crash vertebrate. Um, this is by Camp Searchlight. Um, also by the, air, uh, the Searchlight Airport. Um, it's really on the southernmost part of the map, pretty much in the middle. And there it is. So you're going to go ahead and travel here. There's going to be a ton of robots here. I used a mini nuke on them and it got rid of all of them. So anyways, be prepared for those robots if you haven't already discovered it. And you're going to go ahead and walk down to the vertebrate, get right next to it. And again, Ganon will talk to you. And do not leave until Ganon talks to you. And also, there's a really cool weapon here called the Tesla Beacon Prototype. Beacon? Prototype. And it's a pretty uh, powerful weapon. It uses a lot of ammo, though. Uh, whatever ammo it uses. So just be aware of that. But anyways, cool weapon. Suggest you pick it up. So then... Um, for me, those three were all I needed to activate the quest, but in case that's not enough, and I do believe it is random, you're going to want to travel to Camp McCarran, and you're going to want to go in, you're going to go to the main terminal area. Camp McCarran's by the Gunrunners, by the way, just south of the Gunrunners. You're going to go in the terminal, and you're going to go talk to a uh, doctor, uh, Thomas Hildren. And you're going to um, get some specific like things. You're like, you want to tell Thomas Gilderman, like, oh, thankfully there's like people like you still around. And then that'll give you like two points actually, which is more than the other ones. But anyways, talk to him, have a few conversations, and Ganon should uh, give you the trust points. I'll also put a link in the description about where the trust points can be earned. A lot of them are doing quests. But anyways, this is what will happen is Ganon will eventually say, hey, can I talk to you? Just say yes. And he's going to That's talk to you question. about his past, about his father who was in the Enclave, so and how yes, he thinks I he could recruit uh, some it old Enclave it. friends to help you in the right. NCR in the battle for the dam. Like you if you're about helping about the Legion, the it's not going to go over well with the uh, Remnants today. or the other but five members, members except for one of them. You so you really, if you're helping the Legion, this quest, while you can complete the quest, it's not going to benefit you in the end. If you're helping the NCR house or you're doing the Yes Men, it'll help you. Anyways, so once he's talked to you and given you the quest, you're going to go ahead and travel to Novak. I would recommend, I'd recommend going in this order. It just helps later in the quest. Go to Novak and we're going to talk to the old lady there. Um, not the one you kill in the one of the quests, the uh, other old lady that just lives there. And she's, she used to be an old pilot for the Enclave and you're going to tell her, hey, um, you know, do you want to join these remnants and help us at the battle for Hoover Dam? And she's going to say yes. Um, just a quick note. After you talk to each of these people it, and you recruit them, Ganon's going to have a little conversation for you. I didn't realize this until after I completed the quest, but each of these conversations actually has a big impact on the end of the quest. 
So basically, one of the you're gonna have two responses to what he says to you. One's gonna be kind of like, uh, you know, people have their past and they should be proud of it or whatever. And then another one's gonna be like, people should get over their past and just start a new life. You know, the past is the past and you can't change it. If you choose the first option that you should be proud of your past, Ganon will join the remnants and you cannot get the Tesla power armor. If you choose the last option, and this is majority, whatever one you do majority of the time, so like three out of two or whatever. Anyways, if you do the last option, which is that people should find a new, uh, you know, new future and forget Since your past, died, like here's when Ganon's talking Daisy's to me about uh, Daisy. But anyways, she the second option woman, is going to be um, he, he, he will dollars. give you the Tesla power armor and he's going to continue his work with the followers of the apocalypse. So again, if you want the Tesla power armor, you need to go with the Even second though, option saying forget the past and start a new future. And the Tesla power armor is lighter than the power armor you get, which is just normal enclave power armor, which is still really cool. But again, if you want the Tesla power armor, you're going to want to choose the second option, which is kind of forget your past. Anyways, I accidentally chose the first option. I really don't care, though. But again, the armor actually doesn't differ that much besides the Tesla power armor is lighter. But besides that, they don't differ that much at all. Um, their bonuses are a little bit different, but their damage resistance and stuff is all the same. So anyways, for the next one, which is Cannibal Johnson, I think. I could be wrong, but anyways, Cannibal something. You're going to travel to Vault 34. You can see the location earlier, my pit boy. I think I showed again, maybe. Anyways, Cannibal Johnson's cave. You're going to go in and talk to Cannibal Johnson. And hopefully you haven't already killed him. Because I think if you actually go in there, he might... I can't think. He might attack you, actually. But anyways, hopefully you didn't kill him. <laughs> anyways, go ahead and talk to him. And well, he's pretty easy to recruit, too. What took you? Oh. I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now, and I thought he... Thought I recognized the fellow with you? Well, now, there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all... Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question order. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. You... I wonder if he would. It's pointless. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. All right, again, just something to point out, um, each of the remnants has a password it it spells out like dear old friend um navar I, I forgot but anyway it doesn't matter you don't need to remember it or write it down or anything just to let you know the game remembers it for you anyways for the next one you're going to, want to travel to the gun runners and you're just going to go uh southeast and there's going to be like one of these little houses uh it's like named moreno's house or something anyways too anyways you want to go in and you're going to, want to talk to moreno and he's going to be the one that kind of wants to support the legion and Again, later in the quest, he will kind of go rogue almost, and the only way to prevent him from going rogue and you having to kill him is if you have 80 speech. So that is why I recommend 80 speech. Otherwise, you'll just kill him, and you can take his power armor. Oh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. In a while, Arcade. So. Is that right? The million dollar... I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of... Oh, I'll come. But depending on the plan... Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is, remember. Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left, he said, Kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love and I suppose you're right. Alright, so then the next one you're going to go to is going to be in Westside, 
which is just northwest of uh, of the strip. Um, kind of a pain to get to though. So luckily, I've I've already gone like to Jacobstown, and I had I this wreckage explored. Anyways, you're going to travel up here. Um, I give a better detail location once I've like discovered everything. But for me, the guy was just sitting outside a pawn shop. So just go up, talk to him, and he's also very easy to recruit. He actually used to be the leader, um, the squad leader. So he's talked to him, and he will join very easily. Hello, Arcade. Why the need for... Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? None of this means a thing if the rest of the... Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get it to the bunker. Navarro. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged? Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they've... Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a... I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. So the final guy is going to be in Jacobstown. Um, so yeah, real quickly, if you need better help with Westside, I'm going to give you a better like little look at it right now. Um, again, it's west, northwest of the shop, but it's kind of a pain to get to. You'd probably want to go to Freeside and then go north and then go west to get around. It kind of go around New Vegas that way. But anyways, go up to Jacobstown, and again, you have to complete the quest. Uh, guess what I saw? Or otherwise, Dr. Henry will not join you until you've completed that quest because he is central to that quest. So he will not leave until that quest is completed. Again, in the description below, I do have a link to the my guide I made on how to complete that quest. It's a very easy quest. Um, it takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe. But anyways, go ahead and recruit Doc Henry, and then you're all set. And the reason I finished in Jacobstown is because the Remnant's Bunker, which is where you have to go to finish the quest, is right next to Jacobstown. It's just going to be straight out the door, straight to the east. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc, but he's probably saved more. Again, there'll be a quest marker showing you where to go, so I'm going to kind of speed up. But it's a good, it's a good hike away from Jacobstown, but it doesn't take too long. I took a thing; it took me like a minute to walk to. Um, again, there's those little mantis things in the area. Those are the only real threats. So once you get to the bunker, they're going to ask you, who should we support, the Legion or the NCR? It's really just a one-sided question, though, because if you say Legion, they're all going to ignore you and get pissed at you, and they're going to say no, and except for one of them, which is Moreno. If you say the NCR, they're all going to agree with you, except for Moreno, except Moreno can be convinced to help the NCR, while the others cannot be convinced to help the Legion. But either way, either choice you make, you will still get the power armor. However, if you are going with the Legion, you cannot get the Tesla power armor. If you're going with the NCR and you told Arcade Ganon to forget his past and to start a new life, then you will get the Tesla power armor. Anyways, go ahead and make your way to the back of the bunker. Kind of a cool looking place, actually. Anyways, go to the back of the bunker and talk to the leaders and make your decision of who you're going to support during the battle for Hoover Dam. Glad to see you made it here, all right. Then that's the plan. We're going to have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like... ...if enacting differences. So Moreno's going to be outside in his power armor, out here and so I tried figuring out there's another way you can convince him, but there is not. You have to have 80 speech to convince him to help the NCR, or you'll have to kill him. Again, up to you. No. Um, I don't know if he's a hard battle, but assuming he's in full power Getting armor with gear. a Gatling laser, he might be kind of a tough fight. Anyways, again, if you don't have 80 speech, though, find a way to kill him, well, and you can continue with the quest. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest. When Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all going to shake out in the end. 
but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I... It seems present because I know when fighting... Good point. You've been encouraging the others to stand up and fight. Maybe I should take... There's something I need to go do, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for your... So again, either the choice you'll make, Ganon will be gone forever and he can never be your companion again, unfortunately, because I actually kind of think he's one of the better companions. But anyways, go back in Moreno's and talk to uh, Judah bitch, Kreger, but he's also and he will end. say that Since Daisy will, will not use her power armor she's since she's a pilot, and that she will train you how to you. use power armor and you need her special set. training to use So pretty it, cool, get some pretty so cool looking power armor, get... and then after that, the quest is all complete. I appreciate you keeping Orion. It'll take a few hours to show you. And just so you know, from my understanding, as you leave the bunker, um, I was over crumbled and I'm going to speed it up here just to leave the bunker. But as you leave the bunker or once you leave the bunker, Arcade Ganon will come running up to you dressed in his power armor or not, either giving it to you or not giving it to you. Anyways, go ahead and leave the bunker or you can kind of explore it like I did. But there's nothing really in there that you can take without like stealing it and nothing like worth stealing really either. Anyways, go out and you're going to see Arcade and he's going to say, and see the Tesla power armor looks a little bit cooler than just the normal uh, Enclave armor. But hey, it's whatever. It is what it is. Anyways, normal. so either he's going to give it to you and just join the followers of the apocalypse or he's going to go in there to help them fight. Again, it's, it's impactful based on your decisions throughout the quest. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions for a video you'd like me to make, put it in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.